Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is Baishu's Chinese language learning program. Last time we talked about Chinese mirror words. Today we will talk about Chinese grammar or Chinese uh, adjectives. Okay. In Chinese, um, adjectives means 形容词形容词 Okay, Chinese adjectives are words that describe or modify other, you know, person or things in the sentence. Okay, learning the Chinese adjectives is very important because we use these words in our daily life and these words make this sentence very colorful. So, <coughs> let's see these uh, Chinese adjectives. Okay, first one, I needed to talk the Chinese uh, adjectives are used before nouns. Okay. Uh, in this situation, uh, when we translate uh, from English to Chinese, sometimes we add the particle de after adjectives to describe the noun, but sometimes we don't. So, you may ask me that if there is a rule for whether or not you should put the de after an uh, adjective. Okay, this question was asked by Gold the One, who is a very wonderful student studying the Chinese, and I think this is also the common question other students are going to ask me. So. Um, that's why we have this lesson to address this uh, questions. Okay, I will give you some examples to show, you know, uh, when you need to add the do after the uh, adjective, uh, adjective, or uh, um, well, um, sometimes we don't. Okay, let's see these examples. For example, 红色的花 is a 红色, 红色 means red, so this is red is an adjective. Adjective, okay. Adjective word. We add do after this adjective, okay. <coughs> 大的房子, 大的房子, 大, it's a big, big. This adjective, okay. Adjective. 好的工作, 好的工作, good job. It's good. Is adjective, right? So we add de after this is this word. 漂亮的衣服, 漂亮的, see this is pretty is adjective, okay? It's 漂亮, we add de. But sometimes we also can say, we also say these words. 红花, see we don't add de after this 红. 大房子, it's a big house, no de. 好工作, good job. This is a 好工作, without a de. 漂亮衣服, 漂亮衣服. You can see we can say uh, this uh, adjective uh, plus the noun and with the de and uh, without the de. So some people say that in general, you need to put a de after a two syllable adjective. Adjective. So, and you shouldn't put it after a single uh, syllable adjective. But this rule is not 100% right. Sometimes they, they always have, a, you know, exception, right? Okay, even though this is not 100% right, you can use this rule for most situations. Okay, and this rule, the plus uh, add a door or mm, not add a door, Rule is only for Chinese uh, adjective are used before nouns. This section, okay, okay. We can see some more ex example. For example, 好人好人 You can see this is a single syllable adjective, okay. 小苹果小苹果小 is small. This is the this is also the single uh, syllable. 黑眼睛 黑眼睛, see this is a single uh, syllable word, so you do not put the after the uh, adjective. If you put some, you know, adverbs, for example, 很, 非常, 好, these uh, adverbs in front of the adjective, to emphasize it, the adjectives will change into two or more syllables, 
and you should put a door after it. For example, we we also see he yan jing, but if we add so, he so you should put the or after the black. He so the yan jing. Okay, xiao ping guo, but if a we add. Fei Chang extreme, extremely. Fei Chang Xiao the Ping Guo, see we add a de after Fei Chang Xiao. Okay, you can see Hao Ren, this is a single syllable, but we add Hen before Hao, Hen Hao, so we add a de after Hao, Hen Hao de Ren, Hen Hao de Ren. So in this in this example, we cannot say 黑色眼睛, 非常小苹果, 很好人, we have to add a de after the adjective. Okay, another example, 可爱的孩子, this is a two syllable. 可爱的孩子, 聪明的人, 聪明的人, okay. 聪明的人, we can say 聪明人 without the See, this is the exception. This is what I'm talking about. This rule is not 100% uh, right. 聪明的人, 聪明人, see, this is 聪明人, okay. If, but we, if we add more syllable to this one, we have to say 很聪明的人, you use adverb to uh, in front of the adjective, you have to add the do after the ad adjective, okay? 很聪明的人 Okay, 很贵的首饰 很贵的首饰 很贵 See, we add 很 Before, 贵, expensive 很 means very 贵 means expensive. This is adjective. Okay. We add, I will have to add a do. Okay. The second situation is Chinese adjectives are linked with subject by degree adverbs. In English, there is always you know um uh computer, computer. For example, B, C, appear, etc. Connecting subject and the predictive adjectives adjectives okay but in a chinese sentence the subjects and the, the predictive uh, adjectives are sometimes linked by some degree adverbs such as han han hao chen fei chang okay in this case please do not Add do after the adjectives. And the degree adverb hen often function as linking adverb and it does not necessarily carry any meanings. Okay, let's see some example. For example, 你的眼睛很漂亮. 你的眼睛很漂亮. See, this hen doesn't have any mean, you know. You can say, your eyes are beautiful. See, you, you do not need to, you know, um, put any means uh, for him. You, or you can say, your eyes are very beautiful. So you can just put meaning very to him. Either way is okay, okay? 你的眼睛好漂亮. 你的眼睛好漂亮. 你的眼睛真漂亮. 真 also very. 你的眼睛真漂亮. 你的眼睛非常漂亮. 你的眼睛非常漂亮. See, 非常真好很. These are all the, uh, you know, degree adverb. So, This, this adverbs just like a link words to connect the subject and the, uh, you know, the uh, adject adjective. See, 
connect 眼睛, this is the noun, and this subject. And the 漂亮 is adjectives. So it's just a connect, just like link word. 好, 真, 非常. And the third situation is Chinese adjectives are used as predictive uh, adjectives. The sentence structure is just like this. 男 plus 是 plus adjective plus the in the end of the sentence. Okay, this sentence structure is used to state or uh, emphasize a fact or, you know, um, perceived fact. For example, 他的车是新的 他的车是新的, you do see the 车 is a noun, and then we have 是, and then the adjective, 新, and we add 的 at the end of the uh, sentence. 他的车是新的, his car is new. Another example, 我的头发是棕色的, 我的头发是棕色的, 头发 is noun, is a uh, subject. 是, 棕色 is an uh, adjective. And we add the at the end of the sentence. Okay, we will see the last uh, example. 你看上去怪怪的. 你看上去怪怪的. See, we add the at the end of the sentence. Okay. That is all for today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I hope this lesson will be very helpful for you to use a Chinese adjective in, uh, you know, uh, making some Chinese sentence. If you have any questions about this lesson, please let me know. Okay, 谢谢,